Okay, everybody, I'm on the trail again. I got a hitch back to Scott Farm this morning. Had to walk about a mile and a half on the road before uh, they stopped and picked me up. But got lucky once again. Um, I'm on the trail headed northbound. Just crossed underneath uh, Bernhauser Bridge Road. So headed that way. Um, hopefully, hopefully gonna be a good day. try to uh, possibly do 20 I think it's four miles of uh, fairly easy walking to where the shelter that first shelter will be but my plan is to maybe push on past that see how it's going see how the weather holds out and things like that but uh, terrain to gets too rough I'm gonna have to stop earlier and won't be able to get as many miles in. It's already a little after 10 this morning. Uh, but I sure would like to get about 20, 20 in today. Okay, I'm uh, at mile 1,134. I'm walking through this tunnel underneath uh, Pennsylvania. I believe it's 944. It's a, a paved road. I'm walking through the tunnel underneath it. And that's the end of my walk through what they call the Cumberland Valley. So now we're moving ahead. That's all. I'm out of the Cumberland Valley and moving on in Pennsylvania.
Okay, everybody, I'm at mile 1,139, and I was just heading north, and uh, this young lady come down the trail. She's headed southbound, her first day on the trail. Yep. So I'm going to let her tell you what she's doing, but uh, do you have a trail name? Uh, Avatar. Avatar, and how yeah. did you get that trail name? Um, they told me if I was painted blue, I'd look like the main person in the movie Avatar. So that's how I got that name. I guess because I'm tall, too. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And um, so you said you're from uh, the Pennsylvania area? Yeah, I'm actually from um, right around Duncannon. Okay. So. Good deal. Yeah. And uh, you started today, so uh, <laughs> tell them what you're doing. I'm doing a section hike for about a month, and I'm hoping to make it somewhere down in Virginia. But I've never backpacked before, so it could be interesting. So about how many miles will that be, you think? I'm hoping to do around like four or five hundred. Oh wow! Yeah, Big but we'll track. see. <laughs> All right. So is that gonna be maybe like uh, you gonna come back and do the other sections to do the whole AT or what are you gonna do? I would actually like to through hike next year, but okay. we'll see how I do with the section hike. Okay. So yeah, we'll okay. get a little taste. <laughs> well, good. You gonna do a northbound hike or a southbound hike when you do the through? Uh, I think I'm gonna do northbound. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. All right. Well, thank you. I You're hope welcome. to see you out on the trail. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm at mile 1,144, uh, almost to, uh, what's the town here? Um, it's, um, Duncannon. Uh, everybody Dun went blank Cannon. on it. Yeah. Dun Cannon. <laughs> almost to Duncannon. And uh, th these two folks is coming southbound. How many days are you out for? So we're just out for 10 days, just uh, going with our daughter, who's part of it, who's through hiking. Okay, but she's she's actually doing going northbound. She's yeah. northbound, yeah. yeah. And uh, what, 80, eighty-seven days. Yeah, all right. And uh, what's your trail name? I am Cliffhanger, and this is Feather. Okay, how did y'all get those names? I fell off the cliff yesterday. I didn't go all the way down. I, a tree stopped me, and so I got back up, and no problem. But that's my name, and and Feather here. I keep finding keep feathers, finding on, feathers. The, <laughs> on the trail. Okay. Maybe that's good luck. Maybe that is. And um, so y'all just going to do like you said, 10 days? Yep. How many ten. miles is that going to cover? I'm not sure. I'm le less than 100. Yeah. And then when we retire, we are going to do the whole thing northbound. How about that? Yep. That's awesome. So we're just trying out some gear today. Well, that's awesome. And, and how long do you think that'll be? How many Three years? and a half years. Three and a half years. Okay. Good deal. Well, uh, look me up. And uh, I live down there where it starts. So if you if you start down there, uh, okay. look me up. I'm, I'm real close to the trail. So um, thank you, and I'll see you out on the trail. Thanks. Okay, I'm at Hawk Rock, mile 1,145, and that view is overlooking Dunn Cannon. 
Pennsylvania. All right, folks, I'm in Dunn Cannon, and it's happening here, boy. I tell you what, there's stuff going on there where you turn. And uh, I don't know which way to turn right here. This is a this is a little different town than I've been used to. Now check this out, we got a train coming in. We got a train on this side and a fire on the other side. I reckon I, I don't know what in the world. How about this? Train Depot, no cannon. game going over there. Baseball. We got two trains running and we got rescue and fire trucks going everywhere. Now ain't I walked into a town here. This reminds me of something down home about 15, 20 years ago. We got the Dole Hotel over there. Uh, everybody I uh, got to Dunn Cannon yesterday afternoon stopped at the Dole Hotel had a hamburger and fries and then I hiked on to the campground stayed at the campground last night very noisy and now I'm fixing to cross I think that's pronounced Juanita Bridge but not sure exactly how they pronounce that, but I'm leaving Dunn Cannon, crossing the river. You have to stay on the, uh, you have to, as going northbound, you'll be on the left hand side of the bridge with the sidewalk. The other side has no walk. Anyway, I found the white blazes again. I said there's a little spotty coming through town, but uh, yesterday, but I got them. I'm on the AT, folks. And uh, kind of glad to be heading north again.
Okay, I'm crossing the Susquehanna River. I don't know how you pronounce that. I don't think I can get it all said right, but there goes a the dude going fishing. How about that now? This is the biggest uh, and best uh, place around, they say, to fish for smallmouth. So, got a lot of fishermen in here. Camping and then going out fishing in the day. So, the big, some of the biggest ones they got in the country is right here. This pole. Uh, of a short and um, and I got another sign here it says I'm headed north to Georgia so I don't know why they didn't get the sign straight to start with but uh Georgia's in the south mine's in the north last time I'd looked but uh this one here says I'm headed north to Georgia I'm not headed north to Georgia, I'm headed north to Maine. Um, so, it is what it is. Don't know why they did their signs that way, but check out these massive railroad tracks. You got three, three wide right through here. I'm about two, almost two miles north of Duncannon and I uh, just met up with these two uh, folks out day hiking and uh, where are y'all from? We're from Lewisbury, Pennsylvania, just uh, south of here on the river on the York County side. And uh, do y'all have trail names? Uh, I'm Jess. And I'm Twyla. Okay. It's my daughter. Yep, okay. my mom. Well, that's good. Uh, how often do y'all get out and hike? As often as we can. Yeah, just about try and go about once a week at least. All right. And is it mostly on the AT or do you do other trails? Uh, any trail we can find. We are just making our way through the local spots right now and then we'll try and branch out a little further maybe into Maryland or New York. Right. You uh, Do you have any plans to do a, a longer distance hike in the future? Definitely. We were just talking about it a couple of minutes ago doing maybe a week, a week long section of the trail. Okay. That, that, that'd be, I think you'd like it. If you like these short hikes, you need to step up to the week and, and you're probably gonna like that real good. So 
Uh, what do you like most about uh, getting out on the trails? Just getting away from the hustle and bustle of the city. The yep. Peace and quiet. You know, just get in touch with nature a little more, breathe some fresh air. Just being outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> Spending right. time together, too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I think it's great. Y'all two stay, stay together like that. So, all right. Well, thank you and hope to see you out on the trail. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Good. How you doing? So far, so good. All right. Hey, boy. How about it? Ah. <laughs> I was a little further than I thought I was. Yeah, I, when you told me you thought you were almost there, I was like, yeah, I don't think so. All right, so after this, unless you want to stop. Stopped at that last shelter for a for a short break, and uh, Nomad Soda Pop and Skittles was there, and uh, sit around and took a short break, and uh, just as I was getting ready to hike off, uh, Trippin showed up. She caught up with me, and uh, 
gave me a little bit of trail magic this morning. She gave me some chocolate donuts and uh, carried that. She carried those all the way out of Dunn Cannon and brought them up to me. And I appreciate that. Sure were good. I ate two of them, saved two for later. And uh, appreciate her doing that. She did the little trail magic for me this morning. Uh, she's uh, tripping. She's uh, really putting in some miles. Uh, prior to uh, when she got to Dunn Cannon last night, she had done uh, 120 miles in four days' time. She uh, really putting in some miles through there. And uh, I think she's trying to catch up somebody else, hike with them a while. So it's just how it goes, folks. We out here and everybody's walking different paces, but uh, some slows down, some speeds up. It's just back and forth. You run into folks. Uh, so you go two or three days and not see somebody, and then you'll see them again. So. Going along pretty good. It's been a little rocky in here today. And from what I understand, we're going to get back into it again here shortly. And uh, I'll show you the, I'll show you what I get into. So stay posted. And I'll see you up the trail. Uh, we under a big power line here and just came up to both sides of it to check and see what the view is. Do y'all know what river that is in the background? That is the uh, Susquehanna, Susquehanna River. Susquehanna, yep. Susquehanna. And I couldn't pronounce that real good, but it went across the bridge back down there. But uh, <laughs> that's beautiful, beautiful, big, huge river. And uh, I met these two folks uh, back at the, uh, actually at the um, last shelter. But they moved on out a little bit quick. They got two dogs with them. And, and uh, what do y'all have trail names? Y'all get out very often? No, we don't do this too often. Just, don't get just out. out for the day. Yeah, just out for a day hike. What's your dog? What's y'all's names? Your dog's name? I'm Kirsty. This is Bents. I'm Todd, and this is Sophie. Okay. All right. And uh, the dogs, uh, they like the trail just as good as y'all do. Yeah, they do. They're having a good time. <laughs> so uh, y'all are from uh, the Pennsylvania area. We are. Yeah, we're just local here. And uh, what do you like about getting, being able to get out here on the trails? It's just fun. It is, yeah. Just Peaceful. Relaxing. Do you ever go anywhere other than the AT? Mm. No, not really. It's close to home, so we walk. I, I walk a lot of this local stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. All right. Well, tell me. Uh, I'm just starting into all these rocks, so tell me it's going to get easier, right? I, I hope so, uh, because yeah. this is the first time we've walked this side of the okay. river. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it is. I was just kidding. <laughs> Somebody told me I was going to run in rocks like this for 100 miles. So. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. So. <laughs> Anyway, uh, y'all, I appreciate it. Appreciate the time, and uh, hope to see you up the trail. Okay, right. thank you. Okay, everybody. In Pennsylvania, and uh, I was just crossing this cool road and got look, checking the view out. Got talking to these folks, and uh, they're on the road traveling, doing a big road trip. And uh, I'll just uh, let them, y'all, if you would tell where you're from. Uh, Josh and my wife Carolyn. We're from Australia. 
So we're just on our honeymoon doing a road trip together. So. Mm -hmm. How about that? Well, congratulations on Thank the honeymoon you. thing. <laughs> and, uh, and how many miles do you think you'll cover uh, on the road trip? Uh, probably going to be close to 15,000 kilometers. Right. So whatever is that, that 10, is in miles. 10,000 miles? Yeah, or? Be, at yeah. least 10,000 miles, folks. Yeah. Take, taking a 10,000 mile road trip <laughs> in the U.S. Yep. How about that? Yep. And, uh, and I just thought I'd get a... Uh, he said he's a fencing contractor, and uh, what do you do? I'm a nurse, a registered nurse. She's a registered nurse. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool to meet a, a nurse out here, another one, and uh, and from Australia at that. Yep. So uh, yep. get y'all on the videos. And so are y'all trying to uh, maybe get out and do a short hike anywhere? Yeah, yeah. we like to. So yeah, do a few we're walks. Sitting in the car for too yeah. many days yeah, at a time. Yeah. Mm. So. Get out and do some walks. Uh, mm. You get down. I don't know what they got through here, but I know you get down close to Georgia Way. Uh, you ought to be able to look it up and hit some uh, short walks to maybe some beautiful waterfalls. Oh, okay. So that'd be something yeah. to think about. And yeah, uh, I know I'm probably. from Georgia, and there's, there's a lot of them down that way. Mm. So uh, yeah. Sounds good. All right, well, I appreciate you taking time to do this. <laughs> Thank <fine>. you. <laughs> from? Uh, Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And uh, you get up on AT much? Uh, Okay, so how many nights are you out for this time? Uh, I'm going Boiling Springs to uh, five one shelter, so five nights probably. Yeah, what is that, about 100 miles or so? 72. 72. Okay, all right. Well, man, uh, what do you like most about being out here on AT? Uh, just being out in the woods, just the solitude of it. Mm -hmm. I just like it. What have you seen today that you can remember real easy? Uh, a cat in the middle of the woods. How about that cat? Beautiful cat, wasn't it? Near, you saw it too. Brown, brown tail. Uh, yeah. No, this was black and white. I thought it was a skunk. He got a brown tail. <laughs> I got a close-up picture oh, of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. But uh, what about the rock? Oh, those rocks are terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm from this state. If yeah. I win the lottery, I'm removing every How about single that? One. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to take them all out. I'll buy him a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Well, thank you. Hope to see you on the trail. All right, thank you, sir. Y'all, this is what we call Hiker TV. Hiker TV? I ain't heard that one before, but look at that well, now. Well, usually that's what I call the fire, but we'll, we'll call this Hiker he's TV. He's mounting up on it. He's, he's mounted up on that little... He's posting out now. Yeah. Ooh. I ain't seen one of them do like that. Yeah, he's a very aggressive version. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> She's moving. He's the crazy train's gonna get it for you, get it? <laughs> She's <laughs> loud. I'll stay back. <laughs> hey, give right. me a bag of Skittles. Let's see if we yeah, can get his attention. <laughs> I want you to look at his head. I know it. He's been posting up for his about head's 15 minutes. Uh, he's been here for he's, flattening. He's flattening like yeah, it's over yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But you should have seen that tail. He tried to rattle it like a rattler. Well, he's... Did uh, you jump at him? Yes. What I'm saying is his head looks kind of a, a like a pointed head. Yeah, it does. Almost like he's venomous, right? Yeah. Well, how y'all know he's not? He doesn't appear to be a timber rattler. He doesn't have a rattle. Um, he's definitely not a copperhead. Please be careful. <laughs> but he's very aggressive. There's a big old snake. Hey, come here and check this one out. This one's aggressive. This one. He's backing up. The snake ain't back up. He's looking at me. His tongue's all out. 
Well, that's how they sense heat. I think. All right, hikers, what are we about to do here, y'all? I'm about to stand here until that snake's gone. <laughs> I'm about to be buying, but y'all. ain't going nowhere. Well, I'll watch you all go past, and y'all get past Anybody want alive. this big old stick? Y'all get past the lies, and I'll get past the lies. Oh, it just hurts. Ah! <laughs> 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 all right, you about to knock me over. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of crazy how you get down there to it, ain't Kind of looks a little muddy. It kind of looks like they maybe uh, somebody's been working on that water source and relining it with rocks and stuff like that. So, going to pass on it. It's supposed to be a spring at another mile ahead. So, going to get try to get another mile right here and then hopefully get water. And uh, to where I'm wanting to get to tonight, campsite. It'll be uh, about 20 miles for me today if I get there. Right now, I'm uh, a little under 18, I think, but uh, about another mile to that spring. And then, hopefully I can get water and then get another, I think, mile to, the, to where I'm wanting to camp. I'm gonna tell you, see right there, it's uh, I'm going along here, it's kind of a rocky old road bed, but uh, you know, I'm walking in. But if that's any sign of what we gotta go through tomorrow, that's gonna be, be something. Cause I think what it's gonna do is this old road bed is gonna get up to the top somewhere and we'll be walking this stuff kind of like that tomorrow. Uh, most of the day may actually get into it a little bit today I don't know but I think it's coming <laughs> 